Hello YouTube fans, here again and we've only went walking, I'm on my way to work today so I'm on the way to work but there was something I was watching something I was watching and it was on the news well on YouTube I should say because you know what I think about the fucking news and again I've seen it I've seen it with my own eyes China and I've got a feel for China right now I've got a feel for them because People who may or may not know this, but in China, all these fucking, these fucking sort of getting my tits, all these fucking Chinese people are being made to leave their homes. Not making this up so it looks more exciting on my channel, not pulling bullshit out of my ass to look cool. Fucking China is being made to get out of their own houses it's not fucking bullshit look it up go on the news it's been on the fucking news china has been made to leave their own homes even the stools have been shut down for charity for all the people who've got the big bad steady virus to go in just imagine right just imagine i'm in my house now right i'm not at work i'm at home right let's say it's the afternoon and i'm chilling out right and i'm having my dinner and I'm watching some shit on TV. Knock on the door. A policeman comes in. You're gonna have to leave your home, sir. So what for? You're gonna have to leave your home. Why is there a bomb there? No, we want you out. Why? Because we're gonna be sticking some people with Kurov in your house and we want you out. Come on, get your shit, get out. Imagine that. Well, the funny thing is, and I'm not saying that's the last and diggles here, the funny thing is that's what they are fucking doing. In China, they are kicking people who are Chinese. Everyday people like you, but it's not myself then, people like you and me and everybody else, they are kicking out of their own fucking homes, their own houses. To stick to for torrenting people who've got the big bad steady virus. And it's fucking priceless. You've got the cops looking like something out of a sci-fi movie. I'm not making this shit up, you've got to look and see it for yourself. They've all got the right overalls on. They've got the fucking stupid mask on, the fucking welders mask, and I think it looks like the sealed, so they've got the fucking sealed on. It looks like something out of a fucking sci-fi movie. They've got it all. They've got it fucking all, and it's just fucking stupid. I've never seen anything so stupid. I have been vaccinated, right, people? And an out here, I have been vaccinated twice. Fucking twice. This fucking sun's pissing me off. I have been vaccinated not tight, dirt. How the fuck is one getting on my nerves? I have been vaccinated three times. Three fucking times. What was the fucking point when Boris says, oh, there's another epidemic. We're going to have to do another... I won't, I won't rule out another lockdown, even though I have a partner. <laughs> and if that ain't fucking pissing me off the most, you've got Tyner looking like something out of a sci-fi movie. You've got the cops, right overalls on, the fucking face sealed, a, a right mask, and I think he did me a fucking base. It's gone this fucking bad again. That you got to look like something. Honestly, Dodd, if everyone remembers the 1973, a tacit horror movie that John Hooper, may he rest in peace, John Hooper, the man who did his test. No, what's it, what's it, what's it John Hooper? Then I think now. Yeah, the one who did his um, Night of the Living Dead. Yeah, I was right. The guy who did his Night of the Living Dead. And the Divinus, Day of the Dead, Dawn of the Dead, it'll come back to me. And the director, who sadly is no longer with us, not John Hooper, but Durr. He did a movie in 1973 called The Tasis. And it's these people, right overalls on, masked on, and there was going people who was all terminated. I swear it looked like that odd of movie, The Tasis. If you ever remember that movie, you know what I'm on about. It looked like a fucking honor movie from the fucking Tasis. The cops have all got right overalls on, face shields, the masks, and the way they were cheating, the everyday people, just like me, just like you, was fucking horrendous. It was disgusting. They were getting people in headlocks, everyday people, people were snapping, understandable. Imagine you're getting kicked out of your own house. Being made to fucking move to Torrency, where they're sticking fucking people who've got cut off in your fucking house, dying off the fucking thing, or be a bad year with all this fucking Mickey Mouse shit. And then you've got the fucking news, 
shoving the B fucking A1 and the BA2 in your fucking face. Oh, it's now in Australia. Still doesn't tell you what it's going to do. Oh, let me guess, it's going to spread that rapid fire. That's what it's going to do. It's going to spread that rapid fire and all that Mickey Mouse shit. But it's just fucking pissing me off the way China's being cheated. Honest to God, you've got to see it for yourself, people. Just go onto the news and look for China. Type in YouTube and put in China's epidemic or whatever, or what's going on in China at the moment, and you will see for yourself and you will not fucking believe. You will not believe how China is being cheated. How they're being cheated is fucking horrendous. How they're being cheated is bloody disgusting. I wouldn't cheat a fucking dog the way they're being cheated right now. Over an epidemic now. Which, I mean, other countries have choked with it. We've choked with it. We're doing fucking beautiful. I take the stands. Guess what, people? Guess what? We're going down again. We're going down. Let fucking tie off. So here's one for you, bodies. Here's one for you, bodies, Blumbering Donson. You're planning on locking the nation up again, right? You're planning on locking the nation again if we get another epidemic, if we get another fucking fade, which is dying, dear. They're already stuffing one in your face, the AB1, which you do not, we still don't know what the fuck it's going to do. Die look at what it's going to do before you just do the shit like that, because it makes the fat seem what I had and everyone else had fucking pointless. But here's one for you, Bolly. Stop going around the houses. Here's one for you. You say China's idea of a lockdown worked and it tackled and got rid of it. Well, look at fucking China now. But I just feel sorry for him. It does look like... I've done a figure of the fucking... George Romano! That's it, George Romano! Died if just... Who's not no longer with us? George Romano, the one that just... Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, so they go on. That's it on a movie from 1973 called The Tasis. Honest to God, that is what it looked like. When I was looking at China, it looked like that fucking other movie, The Tasis. You had cops, white overalls, face sealed, face masks. I've never seen anything so stupid in all my life. It was fucking maddening. It was sickening. Everyday people, this is in China, people. This is in China. Everyday people, just like you and me, being kicked out of their own homes. Being made to leave out of their own homes to try and see people who have got cut off it. And I'm thinking, is this what we've come to? I don't know why I'm going mad, because I don't live in fucking China. But seriously, I would not be surprised if eventually it would go like that. Because we've got stupid idiots for a fucking government, like a fucking party animal, like Bollis the Dollis. I mean, I still think, I still think the bastard has got away with murder. Shoot me. I, I still think this fucking blundering moron has got away with murder. He's got away with murder. And it frightens me, because it's like, what was the whole point of being vaccinated? What was the whole point of having a fucking third dose when you see shit like that in another country? I feel for China. I feel for them. To be treated like that, I wouldn't... I mean... I wouldn't even say they're treating them like animals. It feels to me like the cops in China are the bad guys. There's no good guys. And the innocent people are everyday people like you and me. It really does feel like that. I feel for fucking China. I feel for them. I'm thinking, is this what we've come to as a nation? Is this how over the top we've come to it? It looks like something out of a sci-fi horror movie. It looks like the tacit con... Fucking miss his fucking name again now. The Tastic Diet to what giving us the Tasis. Is this what it feels like? Like a fucking horror movie. Because it looked like something out of a sci-fi movie. And I'm thinking, is this what it's come to? Is this what it's come to? But until then, I'm on the way to work. Hopefully we'll never ever go like that. But Tyno, you have my sympathy. Because the way you were cheated... I wouldn't even cheat a fucking dog like that. See you later.